Harper will ban you and you will wait. And you will wait, you pathetic driver. I am in control. I have the ultimate power. Have you ever been in a restaurant and you see someone just absolutely losing their noodle at the staff? They're yelling at the staff. They're jumping up and down. And even worse, they're holding a hot food bag. So they're a delivery driver. Now, this would have been a rare thing to see uh, maybe a decade ago because most of the delivery drivers were working for the restaurants. But now that it's all been outsourced to food delivery apps like DoorDash, Uber Eats, Menulog, Grubhub, uh, Just Eats, whatever it might be in whatever region of the world that you live in, it is becoming more and more common that these people come into the restaurant and end up in an argument with the staff. So, there has been a change that has occurred, and it was more of a reminder and a change incoming reminder to the restaurants on how to deal with these Keiths and Karens who come in screaming their head off that, I've been waiting for five minutes for this delivery. I want the manager. I want to complain. And dude, they just go absolutely ballistic and they just lose their noodle, man. They just lose their noodle. Their, 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 their kettle pops and there's like, like whatever the kettle sound does. <laughs> they just lose it, bro. Um, and one, the restaurant staff has to deal with them. And two, uh, the other customers in the restaurant have to deal with them and their little tantrum that a two-year-old has, but instead it is a fully grown adult. Now, the restaurants are getting the keys back to be able to get rid of these drivers. So DoorDash has sent out a reminder to the merchants that they can block drivers on DoorDash coming into the restaurants and creating a scene. So if they do that kind of stuff, they can be blocked. But it was through the back end of the application. So an owner of the restaurant needed to log in to be able to go and block them so they can't come back with future deliveries for the restaurant. Let's have a look at the message. Block a specific dash at any time. Now you can block or rate a dash at any time in your portal. Coming soon to your tablet too. Even if they unassigned from your order, blocking dashes lowers the number of available dashes that can deliver from your store. So it should only be used in extreme cases. Now I just wanna pull attention very quickly to a certain line in here, coming soon to your tablet. What that means is that the front of house staff, so not the owners or the managers of the restaurant who can log into the website and manage the restaurant on the DoorDash. What they can do now is on the tablet where they receive the orders, they'll be able to soon block a dasher. But Chris, we could already block dashes before from the portal. What does this mean? Why are you new? Well, that little phrase of coming to tablet soon means that you could train and enable your staff who are accepting the orders and managing the orders on the tablet in the restaurant. You could train them to be able to block dashes if they cause problems in the store. So it's not the manager or the owner anymore. You could have your frontline staff blocking an aggressive dasher. Oh, the tables have turned, haven't they? So it's no longer the dasher is a, the most important in the store having their little tantrum. So the Keiths and Karens, you are not number one anymore. The power moves back to the restaurant. It's like, cool, you're gonna act like a child. We're just going to ban you from coming back here again. Take the food, get out, have a good one. So I'm gonna put my restaurant owner's hat on. And if I was a restaurant owner, how would I use this feature coming to the tablets? The first thing I would do is I would train and enable my shift managers to be able to ban DoorDash drivers if they were causing disruption to my business. I want the shift managers to have the power to make the calls to ban a dasher from the restaurant. Why would they ban a dasher from a restaurant? Okay, let's have a look at a couple of scenarios. So scenario number one, back to it again, uh, the Keiths and Karens. So anyone who abuses staff, picks on staff, causes an argument with staff, uh, just going, you know, not being a civilized adult in a restaurant. I would give my shift managers the power immediately to ban that contractor from ever coming back to my place of business. Because one, it's uh, stress and pressure on the restaurant staff that I need to deal with like some angry, bloody idiot coming in just like be like, I've waited five minutes. Where is it? 
I am a DoorDash driver. Where's the food? You are useless. You are pathetic. You are blah, blah, blah. And they go on and on. They jump up and down. It's like a kettle going off. You don't want to hear it. So if they're going to act like that um, as a contractor, cool. You've lost your contract to my stores. My store will not serve, uh, well, will not allow you to serve my customers anymore. Guess what, DoorDash drivers? It is not your customer. It is DoorDash's customer and the merchant has the most on the line from this. So they have got their food ratings, they've got the quality of their food, they've got all that kind of stuff. Um, they've got Google Google store reviews and stuff like that that could impact them from a driver's behavior. So if they get drivers like that, they'll just cut them off from the platform. Additionally, if a driver's blowing steam like a kettle going off in front of other customers in my place of business, I don't want that DoorDash driver in my place of business anymore. It's disrupting their peace and quiet as paying customers in that restaurant from some guy complaining uh, about a five minute wait or 10 minute wait or blah, blah, blah on the order, whatever it might be. As a contractor coming in, they are not employees of the store. They should have a level of professionalism when they're performing a delivery. I'd also enable my shift managers to ban drivers who refuse to click confirm pickup when they are collecting an order. So if a driver turns around and says, no, nope, you're not seeing my phone, no, nope, I'm not showing your phone, I don't have to show you my phone, uh, no, nope, don't need to do that in front of you because I am an independent contractor. Well, guess what? I'll be like, cool, uh, shift manager, you allow them to leave the store and then if they cannot show that they are accepting the order and assigning it to their name, confirming they have collected it on the application, locking it to their name, they refuse to do that, let them take it and then just jump straight on the tablet and ban them from ever coming back here. It's super simple, guys, from a restaurant's perspective. If you don't want to show the restaurant that you are assigning your name to that order, clicking confirm pickup, and then leaving the restaurant, just is a basic security thing for them because the amount of food that gets stolen, if you don't want to do that, they have every right to be able to ban you from coming back. It is a risk to them. And finally, if I was a restaurant owner, I would allow my shift managers to be able to ban a DoorDash driver for not coming in with a hot bag. So if they came with no hot bag, and they're like, yeah, I'll just take the food, I'll be like, oh no, um, we want you to have a hot bag. So it keeps the food hot for the customer. Uh, if the driver refuses to go back to their car and get a hot bag and bring it in, one, they could refuse service, um, or alternatively, um, I'll just tell my shift staff, uh, my shift managers, I'll just tell them, cool, let them take the food and then ban them so they will never get an order back here again. We just want drivers with hot bags. So why do restaurants want drivers with hot bags? Well, because unlike yourself as a dasher, they don't know how far the food needs to travel. So the restaurant's like, well, it could be one mile away or 1.5 kilometers away, or it could be 20 miles away or 30 kilometers drive away. They don't know. So they want the best odds or the best propensity of the food being hot when it arrives to the customer, which means putting it into an insulated bag to try to keep it hot. Now, drivers who refuse to show proof that they have that one, um, it's a risk to that business of it, them just getting like an instant claw back on the food because they're like, it's cold, it took forever, blah, blah, blah. Um, and customers just complaining about food quality. And if they complain about food quality or quality of the food comes back on the restaurant, restaurant loses its profit, they get clawed back for it. Um, so the restaurant does not want that. They want to be paid for their time and labor and make a profit from it. Now, DoorDash drivers who are so self-entitled and wrapped up in their own little universe and Guys, I've heard it all. I've heard every excuse why not to have a hot bag. It's, they're all ridiculous, okay? You're clowns if you don't use a hot bag when you're delivering food, okay? It's just basic food safety, trying to keep it as warm as you can to cover your own ass on any liability and stuff like that. But one, it's just respectful. It's respectful. If I had a delivery driver show up and my food was not in a hot bag, and it's happened many times, I'm not thrilled. I'm not thrilled because the food's cold most of the time. So, put yourself in the restaurant's shoes. If you have drivers showing up without a hot bag, refusing to go back to the car and get a hot bag to put the food in, sweet. Uh, press two or three buttons, ban that driver from coming back. We want drivers with hot bags. Now, one of the concerns that I read about abuse on the system, and as per usual, it came straight out of America. Look, Americans, guys, like you just go from one extreme to another. There's rarely a middle ground for you guys. It's like, it's like, but what if the world caught on fire? Then what happens? <laughs> 
<laughs> so the concern that I read from America was, what about racism? And it took me like a few seconds to try to get my head around that. I was, like, I was like, where are these guys coming from, racism? And I read through it, I was, I was like, I was like, oh, okay. That doesn't really happen in Australia, but okay, let's, let's, let's unpack this. So the concern was around racism. What if there are restaurants who ban all drivers who are of a different ethnic race to them? How is that monitored? How is that policed? What if that happened? And, you know, guys, that's not Caucasian restaurants banning everyone who is uh, of a different skin color to Caucasian people. Um, inverse as well. So um, restaurants owned by minorities or uh, people from uh, different backgrounds uh, outside of America um, that have migrated in, uh, what if they banned all drivers outside of their own ethnicity? So how is that policed? How is that monitored? Um, for me, I think this is a non-issue purely because it's 2023. Uh, one, I really hope that kind of behavior doesn't happen in the world. Uh, it's not the 1940s, 1950s anymore, okay? Times have changed, and we all don't want to see that kind of crap happening. Uh, and secondly, any business that is caught out for doing that, if I was a restaurant owner, um, and I was doing those practices, and then the general public found out I was doing them practices, my restaurant would be utterly cancelled, and I would get sued for discrimination. You would get sued for discrimination. So guys, it's a non-issue. That kind of stuff's not going to happen. You will get sued, not from DoorDash, not from, you know, the companies running this. Uh, the companies running it will probably terminate your contract for deliveries. They'll just distance themselves as far as possible from you if that kind of stuff came out. But it will be from uh, the drivers in the region and they will have an action against you. They'll be able to sue for discrimination. Um, let alone anything else that comes through from it. So, guys, that is a non-issue. No business owner is going to put themselves in them shoes to tell their staff to uh, ban everyone from a certain ethnicity or who is not our ethnicity. Okay? Not going to happen, guys. And any staff member who does that kind of stuff, they will be terminated. They will be fired to protect the business's interest. So, yeah, guys, non-issue there. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the restaurants having the power in the tablets now, not just in the back system where an owner or a manager could touch it, but on the tablets for frontline staff to be able to jump straight in and ban drivers for whatever behaviors or whatever reasons that they deem fit? What are your thoughts around it? Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think this is a bad thing? Um, are all the, the bad drivers going to get terminated so you'll get more work? Or... It's just it's going to be a uh, absolute mess um, where the restaurants get all the power. And if you put your hand up, you're like, you're like uh, excuse me, I have been waiting for uh, 32 minutes right now. How long the food's going to be? And they go, shut up. Shut up or I'll ban you. And you'll wait. And you'll wait, you pathetic driver. I am in control. I have the ultimate power. You think that's going to happen? <laughs> I don't, I hope not, but guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, other than that guys, take it easy, drive safe, and uh, earn some money, hustle, go hard guys, make that cash out there, and you're all legends, cash in the next one, hooroo. How long's this road? 10,000. 10,000 kilometers, that's like driving from Brisbane to Perth and back again. Not kilometers, Chris and I was going for 10,000 subscribers. Well. Are we there yet? Oh, mate, not this game. I just clicked the subscribe button. How about now? Are we there yet? Just yeah, so we can shut this idiot up, hit the like and subscribe button, and here's some other videos to keep you going. There's always something new. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? More videos there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Who are your legends? Huh, maybe I am an idiot.